By default, Final Cut will export the sequence that is currently displayed in the timeline. If that is not what you want, you can use in and out points to isolate a portion of the timeline. To reach the export window, go to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion. This opens a save window. In the save window, click Options. This is where you can customize the quality of your movie. The movie settings window is divided into video and sound sections. Both have a settings button and video has a size button to determine what the frame's dimensions will be. Click size to open the export size settings window. In dimensions you can select from a variety of presets or choose custom to enter your own dimensions. Click OK when you're done. Click settings to open the compression settings. Here you can set compression type and quality. There are other options, but for now, set frame rate to current and keyframes to every 24 frames. Final Cut offers a variety of compression options. Feel free to experiment, but for the time being, I recommend using MPEG-4 video, which is a very new and high quality compression codec. When it comes to audio, a safe bet is to always set channels to stereo left and right and always set the rate to 48. Once you've set all of your settings, navigate the save window to the appropriate location and click Save. 